Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I've got a little bit of a journal share for you, those who asked how I ended up finishing uh, uh, the book covers that we were making. Um, the one that had the white cover, um, there's a flip through on my channel. Um, that journal ended up looking identical to the other one. And then this is the, the other one that was in our, our creation videos. And uh, I ended up only putting this burlap ribbon on the spine and not really decorating it other than this uh, button right here um, because I've decided to sell this as a kit um, for you to um, put together yourself. Now I have sewn the signatures in and I'll do a quick little flip through here. It's very similar to the others. There's vellum, deli paper, tea dyed papers. Okay, and then there's pockets. There should be uh, four of these pockets and then four of a square pocket that you'll see here in a second. So there's book pages from a little golden book, Christmas book. Um, some Christmas pages here from Calico Collage. Vellum, music paper, okay, and then there's a rectangular pocket here on the back of each of the signatures that coordinates with the cover page for the next signature. And like I said, I've already got lace sewn on them. I'm just going to do this really quickly. Um, there's a little CD envelope, okay, so you can use that as a pocket. Just a variety of papers. This is from a Treasury of Christmas Plays. Okay, and then here's another uh, pocket right here. Okay. And there's another pocket here that coordinates with this paper over here. And then here you notice it says planner. So I've taken the center signature and that is a planner for you to use throughout the holiday season. Um, that's using Calico Collage um, Golden Christmas Planner and then uh, I printed it on the reverse sides of scrapbooking paper so it all coordinates, looks pretty, matching pocket. Okay, another corner pocket, like I said, four of those and four of these types, so you've got eight pockets in there. Plus the CD envelopes, there's two of those. There's one of these pocket pages that holds four journaling cards. And uh, Along with the two CD envelopes, there's two of these kind of pockets in here, along with all the variety of papers. The cover measures approximately, I think, uh, six by nine with a two inch spine. Um, so, and it, right now it only has the papers in it, so there's plenty of room for you to fill this up. And so, I've got some things for you to fill it up with. First, let's go through these papers here. I've got a 1962 page out of a planner for December 21st to 24th. There's three Christmas cards here that you can use um, as journaling cards to tuck in your pockets. Um, you can cut these out and use them for embellishing, but they, they coordinated very well with the paper inside. Here's a couple more of those book pages from the Christmas Plays book. So you can use that for embellishing or tearing. Joy to the World. This is um, Christmas music from a hymnal from the 1930s, so it is pretty old. I've got some Christmas words here, here for you printed on uh, craft paper. So lots of different Christmas words for you to use embellishing. And then I've taken some of the scrapbooking paper from that pad and cut it to an 8.5 by 11 size. That way it'll fit in your printer if you wanted to print on the back for um, tags and journaling cards and, and whatnot. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different papers here. I guess I should have showed them all to you, shouldn't I? <laughs> okay. And that one. I don't know if that made nine or ten. I should have counted them before I got on camera, but it's been a little crazy around here with the new puppy in the house. Yeah, there's nine. And then there is two 
green card stocks. Okay, makes great tags and journaling card base. Okay, then in this little envelope here, I've got a little little um, old brown paper sack, and around it is 12 inches of green sari silk. And inside we have, I think there's seven here if I remember correctly. One, two, three, four, five, okay, six of them there. Six of these craft um, tags, already cut in tag shapes. And then to go along with that, I've got a sheet of the whole reinforcers for you. You can ink these up with your distress ink and they're to protect your holes um, that you punch when you put ties in your tags so they don't pull through. Got a little bit of this Happy Holidays tissue paper. Um, that'd be great for decoupaging. We've got a couple of these little tags. This would be good for little journaling cards. There's two of those. And then there is the numbers 1 through 25. There was a paper with that pad that had the numbers. So it's it would be kind of cute. You could number your journal that way for, for a December daily all the way up to Christmas. So there's they're numbered 1 to 25 in the coordinating paper. Then I've cut out for you five tabs for you to glue on and include in your journal. So there's five of those. Poke those down in there. And then we have a little Santa bag, a little burlap Santa bag, and in it we've got all kinds of things. Let me pull it all out and dump it all out here. And it will all come in this little bag that you can reuse. Let's see, in there I have included two green buttons, two red buttons. Put those in there. Two of these kind of neat shaped paper clips. There is a red and green one of these paper clips. And there's a red and green regular size paper clip. We've got two of these Santa heads. There are four of these little paper poinsettias. There should be two of these snowflake brads. Okay. There are two of these, <laughs> sorry, dog snoring, two of these little tags here that you can distress up or cover in colored paper. I guess I'm boring. He's just down there snoring away. There's one of these tags, or each of these. Okay, they could sort of look like metal, but they're not. They're cardstock. Okay, then we have a swatch of the fabric from the cover that I thought would be nice. Um, you could use it for, um, you could tear it into ribbon strips, so you could do, um, <sighs> yeah. I did the words escaping me. You know, when you sew it on a page, ruffle, there we go, a fabric ruffle on the edge of the page. Or you could cut it into strips and sew them on as tabs. There's 12 inches of this trim, 12 inches of this trim, red and green and white polka dots. There is 12 inches of this trim. 12 inches of this trim and 12 inches of this twine and then there's I don't know there's probably three feet here of this burlap twine that I thought um, would go well with your tags so there's plenty of that for putting on your tags so there we go um, I'm gonna list this in the Etsy shop and uh, Thought it'd be a great little starter kit for you to put together your December daily. So um, I've got a couple other things to show you here. A second, let me put this away. Let me move this out of the way. Okay, 
And then if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen that I have some book covers that I just posted pictures of. And these are on the Etsy shop right now. <clears throat> this one is like the ones you've seen when I did the tutorial. Okay. And <laughs> sorry for his snoring. Um, these are six by nine, I think it is. Uh, let me grab my ruler. Yeah, six by nine. Yeah. Um, and the thought behind the six by nine was the fact that you could take an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper and fold it in half for your signatures, and it would fit perfectly inside of here. Um, it has two inch spine. Um, these were created just like the tutorial, so there is the um, 70 weight Pellon interfacing inside here to give it a nice stiffness, along with cardstock or a file folder, um, and that helps keep its bend in the right places and its spine where we want it to be. So there's, and then the, this one didn't have a pocket inside, and I think it's because I was running short on this type of fabric. So there's that one. All of these large ones measure the same same size. This one is, I think I need to zoom out a little bit. There we go. This one is a floral and poinsettia pattern. It has kind of a black background, so I went with black sari for the closure on it. Um, and it does have a pocket on the inside sewn in. Same size. Six by nine, so it's a full size. Okay, there's another one of these. The plaid with the pine cones, and it has a red inside. And it again has the black in the background, so I went with a black closure on this one too. Okay, and one more full size one. There's this one. Oops, I'm holding it backwards. I guess if you were left handed, you could sew your signatures in on that side. <laughs> Of course, then you'd be reading everything backwards, wouldn't you? Yeah, no, I don't think that'd work. Um, that's just me being goofy. Uh, this one has a lot of gold sparkle to it. I don't know if I can pick that up in the camera or not, but it has a pretty pine cone holly um, pattern, matching red on the inside, and a green sorry silk closure for this one. All of these had two inch spines. Um, which is perfect for about a five signature journal, a four or five signature journal, um, roughly roughly 10 to 12 pages in each one, or papers in each one. And then here's a little small mini journal. So it's made in the same style as the others, only it is um, basically half the size. Okay, and it has a cute little pocket on the inside here. This one has a one and a half inch spine um, and the thought on the size on this one is that you could take um, an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. I had one somewhere. <clears throat> Here it is. So the larger ones can take an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and, well, excuse you. <laughs> um, you could fold it in half and that'd be your signature for your larger ones. And then if you're doing a half sheet of paper folded in half, it works perfectly for inside here. So my thought on that was wasting less paper. So if you take an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and cut it in half, and then, and then take each of those halves and fold it in half, it's the perfect size signature for this smaller journal. Okay? All right, so these are already in the Etsy shop. Oh, this little button here is a wooden uh, tree, Christmas tree. These are already in the Etsy shop. You can find them over there. Um, they're pretty affordable price um, that I've put on them compared to my finished uh, journals. So they should be affordable enough for you to um, use to make your own journal this year. So, okay, well, I will see you guys in the next video. Um, thanks so much for all your support, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.